it is time for another Theme Park Coasting Top 10 video where we count down for top 10 rides and attractions at theme parks all around the world. So join me today as we count down for top 10 rides at Knobles. Starting off at number 10, we have Black Diamond. And if you are brave enough to enter through the haunted coal mine, then get ready for an experience like no other. I know you are currently watching the POV and cannot see an awful lot. However, once boarded, you will rise to a height of three stories before a series of twists, turns and drops through a rather creepy cave. A fun fact is due to the drops and lift hills, it is an official coaster, which means that not only do you get to see some fantastic theming in the dark, but also get another coaster credit that may make you feel a little lightheaded. Da ding ding. From one fight to the next, our number nine spot, the Haunted Mansion, will definitely make you shiver your timbers. Opening all the way back in 1926, this ride has been a fan favourite for a long time, but even till this very day, everyone still has to have a spectacular ride on this dark ride and here is why. Unlike your normal carnival haunted house attractions, Knobles keeps a retro charm towards the ride with its cars and layout, but instead of letting all of its scenery rot away, they added some brand new neon props and jump scares causing even the biggest thrill seekers in your group to jump out of their seats. Have you ever wanted to soar through the air like a bird? Well, if so, you have to take flight on our number 8 position, Flyer. From first sight, this may look a bit like a death trap, but it's honestly such a fun attraction. In a nutshell, you will sit on a trough-looking thing, and as the ride begins, the centre machine will spin, making you fly through the air. Here comes the best bit though, as in front of you there is a wing which by moving will make you fly further outwards and inwards. How cool is that? So with all of its interactivity towards the ride, you can either have a mega intense attraction or just enjoy the sway for the duration of the ride. For our number 7 spot on our top 10 list, we have Paratrooper. And no, this is not a ride themed towards a Stormtrooper, but a common theme park attraction which makes you feel like you are parachuting. Now, the best way to describe what this ride is, is that it is a hybrid between a carousel and a ferris wheel. So even though you will begin by spinning on the ground, before you know it, you'll be heading up and down, making your seat swing. Nevertheless, as I mentioned earlier, this ride is a very common attraction around the theme park world. And despite it being a very fun ride for the family, over here on Theme Park Coasting, we would recommend for more unique rides first. Get your sick bags ready as coming in for the number 6 position we have Power Surge and the name sure doesn't lie. Positioned on the thrill factor for the park's rides, I think just by looking at it, you can tell that it is for the thrill seekers in the group. Because basically you and one other nutter will sit on a pair of seats which you can rotate upside down. This is then connected to a central plate which rotates around and believe it or not, this is also connected to another arm that will rotate while raising up and down at 70 degrees. So yeah, this will be one of the more intense two minutes of your life, but also one of the funniest with seeing a group's opposite faces while riding. The problem is, they can also see yours. Top 5, work, work, and coming in for this spot, we have Fandango, a good old fashioned gyro swing. Now, this ride does not make you sick like Power Surge, nor bored or even too scared, but it is just plain damn fun. As soon as you and your group board around the circle and start to rise up and down, you will instantly know that you are in for a treat. This just continues though as then you will begin to spin providing some awesome thrills in addition to a great view. 
The best thing about this ride, however, has to be when it gets to night as off-ride, it just looks fantastic. And on-ride, well, I think you can guess how cool that would be. If you are scared of heights, skip to number 3 as for our number 4 spot, we have Stratosphere and it will definitely give you the fears. Standing at 148 foot tall, just by looking at this ride, it is petrifying, but riding it is a different story altogether. To begin, you will gradually climb up the structure, and once you have made it to the top, if you get the right seat, you will get a phenomenal view of the park and the surrounding area. Nevertheless, before you can say, Wow, that's such a nice view. You will plumb it back down to the bottom in a matter of seconds. The question is though, could you brave the drop? Here we enter the top 3 rides at the park and taking the number 3 position, we have Impulse. Now this ride may look and seem like a Gerslauer Eurofighter, however in a matter of fact it is created by the Aera which definitely has some pros. Like for Eurofighters, you will start off with a vertical lift hill, followed by a steep drop, inline twist and a loop as well as many bank turns. However, tell me if I am wrong, but I have never seen a ride that completes a cobra roll and have lap bars. Therefore, even though it goes quite slow and has a short layout, there is no doubt in my mind that Impulse does not deserve to be at number 3. Between number 2 and 1 it was tough, however after a lot of consideration, we have decided to put Twister at the number 2. To be honest, I don't know where to start with this in-house coaster, as it definitely is unique, but also one which I could not not put near the top. Firstly, the landscape is fantastic with this woody being situated within the woods, meaning that you can get some really cool quality photos. The ride itself does not disappoint either, with its dual lift hills using the same chain, which is pretty awesome. 90 foot drops, tunnel sections, sharp turns, and let's just say, a very unusual first section too at the speed of 51 miles per hour. Now, you will not find that on your typical wooden coaster. So whether you are a big thrill seeker or just love the classic woodies, you have to go to Knobel's tallest wooden coaster. We have made it to the number one spot and for the best ride at Knobel's, we have Phonix. Now, as you can probably tell, this ride looks very similar to Twister, with them both being wooden roller coasters and therefore I do wish that in the future of the park, one of them does get an RMC treatment. The reason why I did choose Phonix though out of all the rides at the park is well, because it puts thrills, fun and excitement all onto a one wooden coaster. Ok, generally it was because of the airtime heels, as they are literally world class. One thing about Phonix though that I particularly like is whereas on Twister it has all of those unique elements. On Phonix it keeps the classic wooden designs from the 1920s but implements hundreds and I mean hundreds of airtime hills to keep everyone from the older to the newer theme park enthusiasts happy. All of this is why it has been ranked the world's best wooden roller coaster for many years now and most importantly for 2022 the best ride on Theme Park Coasting's top 10 list. That is it from our top 10 video today. Obviously you all have your own opinions and we would love to see them in the comment section below. Also if you have enjoyed the video at the top we have two videos that we know you would love and at the bottom there is our Patreon page as well as subscribe button. But with all that said, there is only one thing left to say. My name is Tom Derrick from Theme Park Coasting and I will see you for the next video. Goodbye.